ever. And that's the thing as well. From Kurt's point of view, Phil, he, he can't afford to go negative against Ronnie. He's got to take it to him. Yes, and that's very much his style of play. He's an attacking player. He'll play Eight. to his strengths, I'm sure. He's lost the cue ball a bit there. Well, I think he's expecting a little cannon on the blue there on the way through. Kunde Maffrey eight. Sullivan snookered. Mafflin will be disappointed to have only made eight from that opportunity, though. This is a good snooker, though. It's not, uh, not that easy to get safe. Well, Ronnie was hoping to just clip off that red a little bit thinner and then into bulk so another chance here for Kurt Mufflin and uh, well there's still the possibility of it being two apiece at the interval Well, he just had a fraction of check side on the white there, which uh, straightened it up off the top cushion. Landed nicely on the black. Eight. Twenty-four. We've got eighty-five in the last to make it two-one. Similar here would be handy. Two apiece into the interval. Considering like the first two frames, one it was looking pretty sharp. So a chance to to claw things back here. And at two-all, I think he'll uh, he'll settle for that at the interval. No, that kicked. Definitely kicked to the white stopped. It's uh, he's on a red. So two. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Got a good thirty. Well, sorry, a forty-one point lead here. Three open reds. been patient here, um, Phil, Kurt. He's, he said he might not be a, a pushover you know, against Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's a good player. He is a good player and he'll have been frustrated with the way in which he lost the first couple of frames because he had chances in both. But he's showing how good he is now. Settling into the match. And now he's right back in the match. And let's not forget that Ronnie's already had a match on this table. Or was it the other one? of the day but anyway on the, on the TV tables as Kurt's matches have been 44. on the outside table so these are a little bit quicker hmm you'd be thinking well I started okay but might be two apiece that won't bother Ronnie not these 45. days pretty much takes it all in his stride now
fifth. Good angle on the black to split the reds. And it should be two apiece. You can even leave an angle on the pink, actually. I'm going into Gone for the black. Fifth to one. It's a pretty good angle. Oh, beautiful. Well done. And the other thing is as well, Phil, as we know, with these super fine cloths and how fast these tables are, they, they do split a lot easier now than they used to, say, 10 or 15 years ago. Yes, and this is frame ball for two all. Fifth and nine. Well played, Kurt Mafflin. And this could be a big break now. Everything's open. Colours virtually on their spots. Another century in the meantime between Judd Trump and Tom Ford. Trump has made it. He's about to go 3 1 up at the six interval. To six. Six to seven. And we have a match on our hands here on table one. It's been a bright and breezy first four frames. Well, Ronnie was tested yesterday, came through that one. And he knows, he's, like you just said, knows he's got a match on to today four. as well. He knows um, Kurt's abilities. Kurt's been around a while, he knows how good he is. 75. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Oh, this will do the power good going into the interval. Made eighty-five in the previous frame. Eighty-nine. Well, can't knock that, can you? Impossible turn in this one. Night. Kurt's had 129 career centuries. Something of a surprise they've never met before. Mm. Well, it's been around for quite some time. He turned pro in 2001. He's been on and Not off the seven. tour at times. Ninety nine. This then for the first century of the match. Well, I did a two. Really well played. And if he can maintain these standards, who knows? We could be in for an upset. Well, I did a six. Well, I did an eleven. I got a 17. Could the map play? We're going to turn it to a clearance of 124 from Kurt Mathlin to go with the 85 he made in frame three. What a comeback, having lost the first couple of frames when he made a few mistakes. But Ronnie O'Sullivan is pegged back here in Darching, and it's all to play for after the interval. Two frames each.